Hello all, my name is Kate and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a switching of bags, what fits in my bag or what's in my bag, and comparisons on my new, brand new dark chocolate micro satchel. Stay tuned. Hello all, yeah, I am so excited. I am really excited. I'm finally switching into this bag. I had company this weekend, so I put up that little video with my um, newest purchases. My Eat Me Two Cases and my charm. But I could not wait to get this video up. Look, let's get a close up. I have her protected. Gotta protect those tassels. She is gorgeous. Oh, she smells delicious. Absolutely delicious. This bag is not really all that micro. I guess I was like thinking in my mind it's gonna be really small. Like I know the nano is smaller than this, I think by an inch wide. Maybe maybe more, I don't know, but the Nana would be definitely too small for me. But I think I get everything I need to carry into this bag. Let's see if we can. Okay, now you all know I've been carrying my fossil, which I got a pretty good amount of stuff in this fossil bag. Let's look at her. Great carry. This bag is so soft, so comfortable to carry. It's got to be one of my like top ten of bags to carry. You couldn't get any more comfortable. You know, I I had a, one subscriber said something about you know training them to go down, but I didn't want to train them to go down flat. I don't know why. I don't know why. But anyway, I'm over this thing now. It's fine. It didn't take me long to get over it. This is what I'm currently carrying, which is going to be changed soon. But I have a, quite a lot in there. And I'm going to try to get everything, or most of everything, in this bag. Let's see. Oh, my God, I love that rich dark chocolate. Mm. Okay. All right. I'll try to make this a little bit fast. But here we go. My um, Patricia Nash. I don't think I showed you guys last time I had it in here. I got a mask. I got... Um, uh, what I got in here? I got lipstick. I got a flashlight. I got some hand sanitizer, some wipes, some hand lotion, fingernail file, everything I would possibly need, and and my mask. So, oh, Trisha Nash is so nice. All right, I also got my e, Me Too in Black. You guys know how I love those cases. I have my glass case. I have my brightened change purse. Nice. I have my uh, Michael Kors where I have my um, little key fobs thing. Well, loyalty cards hooked onto the keychain. That's packed in there tight. Oops, a little wonky. That's all right, she's gonna be removed. All right, oh, and I have a new purchase. Yes, I didn't do another video on it, but I want something to house my earbuds. And yes, you know I have to have matching earbuds, okay? Yeah, they're red. <laughs> so, I'll link this below, but I think these were only like I don't know, five, six, under nine dollars. But you get with these, you get five of them. I got one in purple, orange, light blue, and yellow. So this is a pretty good, it's a good deal. And I will always just keep squishing my earbuds like in the pouches. So I don't wear the Bluetooth ones, remember? I'm the old fashioned lady with the cord. <laughs> so this case is hard. 
from the zipper seems to work well. I think I see some reviews of people complaining about the zipper. But so far, so good. And for the, for the price of these, you know, they last me a year. I'm happy. Oh, and they all came with, I got five little carabiners. Here, don't you? Five. So they came with five carabiners to go with the five different colors. All right. So let's finish changing. I always keep this uh, coach uh, key case. I really love it. The uh, glazing is still looking great. And it's still holding up really well, the leather on the inside. I have no issues with this. So, I got my red with real salt. I don't really have a case to put this in, but I got my salt lick. All right, that's it. That's all she wrote. Do I have money still working here? Yeah, there's one still order still floating around. Great bag to carry. She's very soft. And she gets softer with time. My cell phone, if you have a 6S Plus, it does not quite, but that that's all right. I'm fine with that. It will stick out a little bit. But I also have been carrying it just inside my bag, so that's no big. Love this bag. She goes back on my shelf until the next time. Now, can I get all of this? In this bag. Let's see. Again, um, I know a lot of you ladies already know these um, Florentine leather bags. It's got the chocolate or dark whip stitching. I don't think it's brown too more. It's hard. It might be. It's hard to tell. And she's got. They got the matte, the matte gold brass or whatever you want to call it uh, hardware. Feet. and the red zipper tape that I really like. See what this bag will hold. I'm going to put the measurements below. Okay, and uh, Sydney is, well, actually let me get to Sydney. And, Sydney is pretty, but you know, she's not like a really much bigger than this bag. She's very slouchy. Hmm. Measurement wise, let me see. Literally, I think she's close to 10 when you go out a little past the seam. Yeah, I'll call it 10 across the bottom myself. So, so this one's about 10, 10 and a half across the bottom. And as far as height wise, I don't have to worry about measuring it. They're about the same. This one has a wide bottom. This has a wide bottom too. It doesn't look like it's only like three inches, but it really um, spreads out. It's like a soft bag. So I would say these bags are pretty close. Might be off like by an inch. She might be like an inch all the way around bigger, height wise, because this one has a small and it goes down, so this one would be a little taller. But they're uh, very close to size. Okay, so let's see if I can get all of this in this bag. Let's see, turn this away so you can see. Yep, she's in there. Let me get my little key keeper out of here so it's out of the way. Yep, my Patricia Nash is in there. Okay, let's go for my glasses. My sunglasses, no problemento. Let's go for my Me Too. Um, my royalty cards, let me stand that up. My earbuds, 
my keys. I'm going to put in the back pocket here. Change purse. Let me see if I can get this all in here. My salt and my salt lick. Got to do some rearranging. And the opening's not that bad. I know people complain about the opening, but the softer she gets, she'll even lay over, open more. But I have no problem getting my hands in and out of this bag. Now she's full to capacity. Everything that was in the fossil bag. And she still has clay over the top. She'll go down and she'll do that nice little smile. I'm gonna let this head in there. That's okay. I would say she weighs about, I keep forgetting to bring that scale three up. Three pounds, maybe three, even 3.5. So she's like 2.3 pounds, I think, empty. I forgot my phone. Things in there. Thing right here. I'm just gonna push it down more. There we go. Yep, I got everything. Everything from there is nothing besides some cash I can put in the zipper pocket. There is nothing that I cannot put in here that I didn't have in the fossil bag. She's definitely three and a half pounds. I will do some mod shots at the end. Sorry for get this shaking. For all dimensions below of the bag and the, uh, the strap length, and this is a convertible strap. But I'll also show you that I could do a shoulder bag. Get that middle out. Put this in. It'll be a nice shoulder bag. Okay. Now, I got her full. I'm going to show you what I'm really going to put in this bag. Before I do... I do like to do some comparisons. I know some people are probably saying, yeah, that bag looks awful small. I want to show you something. Like I said, the fossil is very close to this size. She is a little bit heavy here. So let me go to my Dooney and Burke Bitsy bag. The Bitsy is definitely smaller. Bitsy bag is shorter. Not by much, but it's shorter. But it's definitely slimmer. And definitely not as long. So if you can carry all your essentials in the Bitsy bag, you are good to go with this bag. Okay. Next one on comparison. And I and you can always get the measurements. I have other videos with the Bitsy bag for the measurements. I just want to do side by side comparisons. Here's another one of my bags which I need to carry soon. Cassie, my Cassie bag and the ginger multi. Love this bag. Uh, approximately the same height. I think the Cassie is definitely a little longer. Hold on a second. Not by much. No, she's almost the same length. This bag's heavy. She's definitely wider. So that's my Cassie. Beautiful, the ginger multi. Carry you soon. Very soon.
Okay, now my last one for comparison is my Tilly. To me, in my one video comparisons, I got a slight, just a slight bit more stuff, a little bit more stuff in my Tilly than in my Cassie, but they're very close in size of what they can hold, but a slight more. So let's see in comparison here. Approximately the same length. This bag's a little bit wider. I think this one's about four inches, let me see. Yeah, it's about four inches. So the micro is five inches. So basically, whatever you could fit in your Tilly, which is a gorgeous bag also. I'll be, I need to start carrying her again soon. I got to get back to my coach stuff. I've just been on a, a Dooney craze lately. But this is my coach Tilly. And my Cassie. These are all coming soon. <laughs> and my little Bitsy, which is the smallest bag. So you could fit a lot more. Whatever you could fit in your in your Bitsy, you definitely could fit plus more. It's a definite. It's a definite. Now, this bag is extremely heavy because I got her loaded up. So let's go do some switching. Anything in there? Keys. Salt, salt rock. Another meat two case, spring black, change purse, glasses, phone, earbud, Trish and Patricia Nash, which has no problem going into this bag. No problem at all. So Oh, I forgot one. A couple pours. So let's go switching. Got some more change. <laughs> All right. For the one, I think what I'm going to do though, for right now, I am going to keep this Patricia Nash in this bag. And I couldn't decide whether to go for the green. The Me Too or the orange? I had uh, some subscribers that said the orange, orange is beautiful, very much a pop of color, and she will go definitely with my uh, Patricia Nash, but also my green will definitely go with the Patricia Nash. But I felt like I want, and also the brown that I have would definitely go with the Patricia Nash. So it was uh, my choice, though, at least for this time. I could change it out tomorrow, which I may do. You never know. I almost went with the green, but I decided to go with the orange for that pop of color. Okay. So I will be changing out of the black into this, into the orange one off camera. This, this would be really good for Halloween, too, wouldn't it? Fall colors. All right. So let's put the Patricia Nash in. Me too in. And instead of these earbuds in the red, I'm gonna put in the orange. Put that in there. Okay, what I'm gonna do with um, my glass case is I'm gonna use my duty glass case. Put that in there. I'm going to take my keys, and for right now, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to put them in that pocket or not. Let's see. I am going to take this green pouch, oh, which also goes with the Patricia Nash. That's what I'm saying. That would have gone great with this, but I felt I wanted to pop a color that was too much green. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put my loyalty cards, my cash and my change and I 
didn't even put my salt my salt rock in here. <laughs> and I could even put my Redmond's uh, salt in there, real salt. So I got room in here for much more. Let me go ahead and put this in here. Make sure I put her in there right next to Trisha Nash. Even easier. There we go. And I put my keys right on down on the bottom for right now. And I can put my glass case actually along the top. And I could put my phone in the slip pocket. I mean, everything fits in there. It's just um, I'm kind of like, uh, you know, a little crazy about how my stuff fits in the bag. <laughs> I want it to fit in there perfect. Oh, and I also have this. I don't have nothing to hook to it right now, but all of it, everything. Everything that I had in my um, fossil bag fits in this bag. Everything. I can get rid of that leather Chanel. She's got plenty of room. When I go to carry her, I'll take these off. I'm just trying to train them. They were sticking out a little bit, flaring. So I'm trying to train them. So. This is a switch of the bags, what's in my bag, and comparisons to a couple of my other bags. This bag is big enough. I mean, if I can carry my Cassie, I can carry my Tilly, I can carry my Bitsy, I can carry my Fossil, and hold everything that the Fossil will held in here. Well, you know, it was a little bit crammed, but you can still put it all in there. And like I said, at the very end, I'll do some mod shots so you guys can see this. But she is gorgeous. I am in love with this bag. I am in love with this color. Florentine takes color so beautifully. And this dark chocolate. I don't have I didn't have any bags of dark chocolate until now. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. You all have a fabulous week, and I will talk to you soon. Subscribe to my channel. Oh my God, my shots to come. Bye for now. Mm.